in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to change colors for an entire row or halfway through the row and in different stitches as well as how to connect yarn when changing colors. All right, the first one I'm going to show you is how to change color for a full line on single crochet. So I went ahead and I've done a few and I've done it like I'm going to chain one and turn my work except for what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back so that I have one more single crochet to do in the row. I'm going to take my other color I go through like I'm doing that, go through here, and then instead of grabbing this and pulling through, I'm going to grab the other color and pull through. And I'm going to chain one with that new color. And then if you would like, you can also pull these up and crochet over them so you don't have to weave them in later or you can leave them out and weave them in. I like to do as little work as possible, so I'm going to go ahead and crochet over them. You're going to go ahead and crochet as usual. And say you just wanted that one row, and you'd go ahead and switch like you did down here again. If not, you'd just keep going. I'm gonna go ahead and pull those two nice and tight so it looks nice and neat at the end. See how much better that looks? So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna pull this through, I'm gonna lay this down. I'm gonna grab this one. Actually, what you wanna do is you kind of wanna pull that over, pull that over. That way it looks a little better. And then you'll just crochet as you usually do. All right, so you've decided you want to do half a row or just the last few stitches or however many in a different color. So you're gonna go in what you want to be the last one of the color you're currently working. You're gonna go in like that. I'm going to grab the new color, you're going to pull that through. And then I like to pull both of the tails, that way I can crochet over them. I just kind of pull them to the front and hold them with my thumb so they're out of the way. And you just crochet as usual right over those end bits. And that's how you do that. And then you would just do the same for half double and double crochet. Although if you've ever tried doing this with half double and double crochet, you'll know that usually with double crochet, it's a little easier to see the yarn that's under here. So it doesn't look as good. So I'm gonna go ahead and crochet a row of this and then show you a different method. All right, so you've done one row of that and you wanna move on to a different color. So what I do is I go ahead and I kind of start it, I'm going to cut it, I'm going to pull that out just a little, I'm going to take my new color, and I do this a lot when, like right now I'm working on a scrap yarn cardigan, so I've just tied the ends like this. So you tie one end around one end, one end around the other, pull that nice and tight. And of course with the scrap yarn cardigan, it doesn't matter where, what color ends up where, so I just do it at random, random intervals, but whenever I do want the color to kind of like stop, then I'll crochet part of it, cut a little tail, unwind some of it so I have some length to work with, that way when you move on, it kind of stops where you want it to. And then from here, nope, I might have left a little too much of a tail, which I can show you a trick for that. 
if you end up having a little too much to tell and you wanted this part to be blue, so this whole row is blue, something I do is I'll unwind some of it. And I'll just crochet everything just a little bit looser so it takes up some more yarn. And I've never noticed any issues with the end results on my projects because, you know, everything gets kind of pulled this way and that way and it never ends up being an issue. Okay, so we ended up with just the one chain, which you could then just go back and loosen everything else up. It's not that big of a deal. And then you can go ahead and continue double crocheting. And your colors change. You may think, oh, but what about the knot here? Usually, depending on what you're doing, that gets covered up. Like with a cardigan, you usually either use this to connect to another side, or you'd end up going through here and adding like some kind of an edge to your product uh, project. Sorry. So it's really not a big deal. It's usually hidden pretty well, but since it's on the end one, you can see it. If it's on like a middle area, you usually can't see it. If it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do double crochet on this row to show you what I'm talking about. That way the knot ends up in the middle of the project. Yeah, when you're doing that, it, you, if it ends up up here, your next stitch covers it. If it ends up in the middle, you can usually kind of tuck it up in there and you really, you don't see it. See, it ends up in the middle and you don't see it. And that is how I connect doing different colors in different spots. And you can do that with double crochet, half double crochet. You can even do that in the round and it ends up being you know, the same. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section below. If you don't want to ask them in a public setting, please feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. I'll have that link in the description box below as well. And if you made it this far into the video, thank you for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!